Oh, well, let's get some of this uh, terminology sorted out. Um, here we've got um, a generic class declaration, um, and uh, these here, T and U here, are formal type parameters, or just type parameters if you prefer. Sometimes you also see them called uh, type variables, and uh, that's what that is. Um, down here, we're actually using that uh, generic class here, and uh, this is called a parameterized type. And these things supplied in here are actual type arguments, or type arguments sometimes. And um, any reference type is allowed in here for these. Um, of course, the only things not allowed are primitives. Now, uh, by convention, type parameters are single uppercase characters, like you can see here. And I suggest you stick with that. And uh, try never ever to confuse a generic type with a parameterized type. You can tell the difference because one's got a pair of um, uh, curly brackets after it and the other one hasn't. So they're quite distinct. Okay. Um, here's an example of something you should never do. And that's use use something like that as a... As a uh, a type parameter because that will cause no end of confusion as you can see uh, it works by the way this but uh, you should never do it uh, as here we're uh, instantiating this uh, uh, this uh, class here uh, passing it an integer a list so um, well that's just what you'd expect really if you think about it a bit but of course it's extremely misleading and you should never do something like that so stick with um, single uppercase characters in the uh, declaration of a, a generic class. Okay, it's only when you come to um, actually use the thing uh, that you have to parameterize it, and then you, of course you put in actual real types in here. 